Let's be honest, no one really likes listening in the concentration camps called school, college, or even university. It's either too boring or you simply cannot comprehend anything the teacher is yapping about. But don't worry, as always, I come prepared. Here's my solution. I spent the last week working on a tool that would listen in during lectures, summarize it at the end, and save the notes somewhere. So you can technically sleep during every single lesson if the teacher doesn't catch you, all using free and open source tools. For this project, I actually chose two languages, Python and JavaScript. Next.js was my choice for the frontend since I wanted a nice and clean GUI that can be easily accessed through the browser without much hassle. Flask is what I chose for the backend. I also needed some kind of database. For that, I chose SQLite, as it's pretty lightweight and perfect for people with a limited amount of brain capacity like me. You stupid! No, no. What's 9 plus 10? 21? You stupid! The front end is very simple. It has a nav bar, a button to start recording, and of course, our beloved Osaka as the logo. Now that the front end is basically done, let's jump into our backend, where I need to first install the libraries that I will need for this application, which are speech recognition, Flask, Flask cores, and a couple more as well. Let's create the notes ticker class with a constructor that initializes our database at the speech recognition instance. We can now get into the actual functionality, which will make our program listen for speech and save it into an audio variable. First, we set the state of listening to true, so when the frontend fetches the state, it knows that we're actually listening, unlike you right now, due to your malformed attention span. We loop until the listening state is false and use our microphone as our audio source. We then need to call the listen method on a recognizer instance and provide our microphone as our parameter, so it knows where it should get the audio from. Now here is where you can use a bunch of providers like wit.ai, Google Cloud, Azure and many more. For the simplicity of it, I went with Google Cloud, even though they are one of the biggest monopolies ever recorded in human history. What's extremely convenient is that you can also provide the language you're listening to. So if your teacher is once again speaking in Japanese, simply walk out of the room instead of trying to understand anything. We can then check if the user has said something along the lines of stop. If yes, we're going to set the state of our listening to false, which will eventually break this never ending cycle of errors. Great. Once that's done, we can move to the relatively easy part, which is simply going to be summarizing what we just recorded. For this, I chose to give the user options between what AI model he wants to use to summarize the lecture, and in my opinion, Mistral is by far the best one, not because it's uncensored or anything, but simply because of the name. Llama was always a better option. All that's left is to save the summary into the database, send it back as our response, and refresh our frontend page, and voila. Now to demonstrate, I pre-recorded a very real lecture and here's how we can access it. First, we look for the summary which we just recorded. We then click on it and now we can even toggle the transcript on and off if you want to know whether the AI is actually hallucinating or not. As always, the code is available on GitHub and with that, we have successfully climbed another mountain in our way of abolishing the traditional education system. Like and subscribe if you like this type of content and until next time. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.